Yeah, know what this is? Your boy D47 all day, AM, PM, popping off, revisiting as much rugby league information as possible. Right now, the 1941 wooden spoon in the Australian Rugby League, this time going to North Sydney. But, but, it's not just any old standard wooden spoon. Absolutely, some absolutely um, unthinkable occurrences happening in the final rounds of the 1941 season before the North eventually ended up with the spoon. So, so you don't miss that important information, you need to watch this video all the way to the end. And I promise it's worth the wait. So, we'll start by saying North got the wooden spoon in 1941, but not before such an incredible occurrence of events. They played 14 games in 1941, three wins, 10 losses and one draw. The one draw in round 11 with Newtown 14 points all. North's attack, we always go for the attack and defence for the wooden spoon team. They scored 171 points in attack Conceded 262 in defence, for and against negative minus 91 points. The top try scorer, a player called Jarrell Scully, and he got six tries for Norths in 1941. And the top point scorer, a player called Rex Harrison, and he got four tries and 14 goals for a total of 40 points, 1941. Remembering tries used to be three points at the time. So just by those stats alone, this sounds like the basic, like the standard wooden spoon. Okay, team only won three out of 14 games and had a draw. Um, for and against, like, Pretty ordinary, pretty poor. The top try scoring points are not getting many, but you just need to yeah, hang in there, watch it till the end. Because despite those statistics, it's absolutely incredible the way this panned out. Absolutely phenomenal. Actually, my personal favourite wooden spoon so far, even though we're only up to 941 and we've still got to do 82 more to get up to 2023. So far, since the game started in 908, it's my favourite wooden spoon, just the way it all unfolded. So, we always do the most embarrassing moment and the moment in the sun for every wooden spoon team. So from North Sydney's point of view, their moment in the sun came in rounds four, five, six, and seven in 1941. They'd lost the first three games, but then they had a bright patch of form in round four. They got their first win of the year and beat Newtown 16 points to 11. And Gerald Scully, who I just mentioned, got three tries in that game. So a match winning performance from Scully getting half his um, season's tries in the one game in that win over Newtown. Round 5, 1941, Norse lost to St George, 19 points to 16. But that was far from a um, disgraceful performance. That was a very admirable, gallant defeat. Remembering St George won the competition in 1941. They beat Eastern Suburbs, 31 points to 14 in the 1941 grand final. So a three points loss to St George, 1916, which is one try. Nothing to um, be ashamed of at all. And neither was their round six win over South, 15 points to 12. And then their round seven win over West, 25 points to 12. But as you've probably worked out, the wheels fell off after that. And in the second half of the year, they managed just the one draw in round 11 with Newtown 14 all. And here's where it gets phenomenal. Here where it, here's where there's an absolutely incredible turn of events going on. So the most embarrassing moment in particular is this one, the 1941 round 12 game where they lost to South Sydney 14 points to 13. So that one point, that put Norths down in last place at um, at that point in time. So remembering, after that loss there, Norths were on seven points in last place. There was eight teams in the competition in 1941, so Norths were in eighth place. South, with that win they just had over Norths, they were in seventh place with eight competition points. In Western Suburbs, they were also on eight competition points. So we had a freeway battle for the wooden spoon. With only rounds 13 and 14, only two games left. Two, two games left for all the teams, but for those three in particular. Freeway battle for the wooden spoon. West in sixth place on eight competition points. South in seventh place on eight competition points. North in eighth place on seven competition points. West, of course, in round 12 at the, at the, um, at the same time that South had just beaten North 14 13. West had lost their round 12 game to Canterbury, 22 points to 17. So only one converted try, five points, but it was lost and it left them in danger of the wooden spoon. So this freeway battle between West, South and North for the wooden spoon, Western Suburbs were in the fortunate position. They just happened to be playing South and North, so they had the opportunity to win those two games and that would easily avoid, avoid them the wooden spoon. And that's exactly what West managed to do, 1941 round 13. They beat North 30-16, and then in round 14 beat South 40 points to 9. So that's how West steered clear of the Wooden Spoon in 1941. So they were out of the they were out of Wooden Spoon danger. 
Souths, so as far as Norse were concerned, Souths, luckily for Norse, lost their two games. 1941 round 13, Souths had lost to Belmain 32 points to 14. And then 1941 round 14, like I just said, Souths had lost to West 40 points to 9, which left Souths on 8 competition points. And with two games left, Norse were on 7 competition points. So Norse only had to win one of their last two games and they would have avoided the spoon. But unfortunately, as I just said, 1941 round 13, Norse had lost to West 30 points to 16, as I just said. And then, just to... Just to cap off such a miraculous turn of events, such an astonishing sequence of events, by some sort of lightning strikes twice situation, the last game, 1941 round 14, Norse played St George again, and they again lost to St George by three points. They lost to him by three points back in round 5, 1916. And then in round 14, they lost to St George 23 points to 20, again by just the one unconverted try. So Norse only got the wooden spoon in 1941, by one competition point, having seven, whereas South had eight in second last. And if they just got four more points in that last game against St George, like if they just got four more points, 124-23, they would have avoided the spoon that way too, but unfortunately not to beat. So after such a two-and-fro battle, or I should say a three-and-fro battle, over the last three rounds between West, South and North, it was eventually North, who just ended up with both hands on the wooden spoon, unfortunately. But that wasn't decided until the very last game of the season. Very last game of the last round. North just losing to St George, 23 points to 20. So, yeah, so a lot of information that needed to be divulged and gone through for this particular wooden spoon. More than I was expecting, but yeah, absolutely incredible. So, um, North getting it in 1941. And that was their, I think, their fifth wooden spoon so far. They've gotten the wooden spoon in 1915, 1917, 1919, 1932, and now in 1941. And they would get, um, they would also get four more wooden spoons over the course of their history. Three of them coming up not too far from now. So this is 1941, they got the spoon. It's not too many years later before they actually got another three wooden spoons in four years. But you'll have to keep watching before you find out, find out that. So obviously the next wooden spoon video is going to be the 1942 wooden spoon, which isn't Norse. Isn't Norse just yet, but they will get three wooden spoons in four years eventually if you keep watching. If you are still watching to the very end, thank you so much for the ongoing continued support. Thank you for not missing out any essential rugby league information like what we just talked about. Absolutely insane that with three rounds left, there were three teams like neck and neck in the wooden spoon battle. So it's always good to see that, um, that it's not an embarrassing wooden spoon like any of the university's wooden spoons. So if you scroll for this channel, you find all the 10 wooden spoons that university got between 1920 to 1937. And it wasn't appalling like Canberra's 1982 wooden spoon or Western Suburbs 1998-1999 wooden spoon or Newcastle's 2016 wooden spoon. This was a wooden spoon by the tiniest of margins for poor old North Sydney. There you go. Your boy Dio 47, 1942 wooden spoon coming up next. Toodaloo.